So again, click on reports, click on all reports, click on fertility, click on weekly fertility. So now I will now generate the fertility report. My calving date is in there and I've already identified that I've begun mating this year on the 18th of April. And now I will hit generate report. This should only take one to two minutes max to run, usually quite quickly. Download file and we will now open it. If this opens up into PDF, so I say that should not cause any problems for any of you there that running from a normal PC or laptop from home. So as you can see, I have a couple of things here to identify on the report. Um, and heifers have calved. As per this year, this is my a, a quick overview of the spring calving pattern. 5% of the cows had calved by week 3, 78 by week 6, and just under 90% here. I will now go to some of the other key points in the weekly fertility report. As you can see, this is your target submission rate, the dashed line. This assumes 100% of the females both cows and heifers will be served in the first six weeks. So ideally, for all our herds out there, we want to try and have our own continuous line here as close as possible to the dashed line there, which is the target submission date. As you can see, this can be ran, the weekly fertility report, to be clear after week two, the line will start populating. And then after 21 days or after three weeks, you can then see your first key performance indicator in terms of the 21 day submission rate for both cows and heifers and this is compared and analysed against your national averages and the top 5 and 10%. After 42 days this can be re-ran again. So in this report, this, in for this particular report, the farmer had ran it just during around the 3 weeks. It'll identify cows at bread that have been calved greater than 30 days. But one of the key features of the weekly fertility report is that this report can be ran week to week, so maybe from week two, week three, week four, week five, week, week six, you know, to see are we on target with our submission rates. But one of the things that uh, that really we would like to hi hi that we would like to highlight to Dairy Herpes members is the action list. So this really focuses our minds on cows that we haven't served or we haven't AI'd that have calved greater than 30 days. As you can see here, it identifies cows here that has calved here, 90, 100, 90 plus days, 80 plus days. And then it tells you here, if it was a normal calving, and you know, maybe sometimes it might be difficult calving, would be highlighted here. The farmer can, can, can decide to see are these cows actually cycling? Do they need treatment? Do they need uh, vet to look at them, for example? So again, if the benefit of this to the herpless member there is to run it week to week, hopefully this action list will be, should be growing shorter as each week of the breeding season goes by goes by but it's really targeted to have a look at these particular cows to see are do they need treatment do I need to take action and uh, do I need to do something for to solve any reproductive issues there on, on relation to the, to those